This video provides practical advices to connect Umo devices to Ethernet and RS interfaces. Measuring data recorded by paperless recorders are often transmitted by Ethernet. The connection of field devices to a visualization system is a typical application for RS interfaces. If recorded data are transmitted by Ethernet, or if field devices are visualized via RS interfaces, changes in configuration are normally transmitted on the same way of communication. The necessary settings for connecting the field devices are shown for the configuration programs exemplarily. Umo field devices are connected to Ethernet as by as a computer. Network boxes and patch cables are used. In most cases, end devices connected to Ethernet receive the network configuration from a DHCP server. The network configuration consists of IP address, subnet mask and gateway address. However, some Umo devices work with a fixed IP configuration. In this case, the configuration of the respective device must be adjusted manually. This IP address has to be excluded from DHCP and cannot be allocated to another device. The network configuration must be defined on the device. In the configuration program, the following adjustments must be done. Establish connection. The assistance for setting devices starts. In the connection pre-settings, setup or ring memory via TCP IP must be chosen. The IP address of the field device must be given. The device appears in the device list and a connection by Ethernet is possible. For different devices, DHCP can be activated. A DNS device name must be given to the field device. Via this name, the device can be reached, for example, in the configuration program. The DNS server realizes the allocation DNS name, IP address. The address of the DNS server must be set. In this case, the connection over TCP IP must be defined as well. Instead of the IP address, the DNS name must be indicated. Many UMO devices can be connected to a computer by RS485 interfaces. The RS485 interface is a two-wire interface. 32 devices can be connected over a distance up to 1200 meters. The communication is possible via a shielded two-wire cable. The interfaces of the participators must be configured. The boat rate, the number of stoppits and the kind of parity check have to be adjusted equally for all of the devices. Different addresses must be chosen for all devices. In the example, addresses 1 up to 5 could be chosen. 
If a computer includes a serial interface, this is normally a RS-232 interface. With this three-wire interface, point-to-point -point communications can be realized over a distance up to 30 meters. An interface converter transforms the signals between RS-232 and RS-485 interfaces. The converter needs a power supply. A configuration is not necessary. The device with the address 1 must be defined in the configuration program as follows. A serial interface is used. In the example, the interface converter is connected to COM port 1. Transfer rate, quantity of stop bits and the manner of the parity check must be defined as for the field devices. It's not necessary to change the control signal in the case of using modern converters. In the first device, address 1 is adjusted. The device appears in the device list. Other devices have to be defined in the same way. The adjustments only differ from each other in the device address. For example, the device with address 2 should be connected. In the example, five devices are used. All of them are available in the device list. Exemplarily, the device with address 2 should be connected. Basics and further information for connecting field devices to bus systems are described in our specialized book. The book can be downloaded free of charge from our homepage.